Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Kumar, host on Click Digest, and we are breaking our review of the Lenovo Vibe X3 in two parts. In this video, I'll tell you 16 reasons why you should buy the Lenovo Vibe X3, whereas in our other video, we'll talk about five reasons why you should not buy this phone. The link to the other video are provided in the description section as well as here on top of your screen. So do check out the other video as well. In this video, we'll focus only on the positive points. Let's get started. Reason number one to buy Vibe X3 is the design and build quality. It shouts premium at every level. It is made of metal frame with chamfered edges, looks and feels really nice and premium. The back is high quality polycarbonate and is soft to touch. Reminds me of the Motorola Nexus 6 that we have seen. It has a nice curve which is ergonomic to feel in hand. The buttons are very tactile. The design use of metal as well as Gorilla Glass on front and the overall design language makes it feel very very premium and look very nice aesthetically. Reason number two is the display. The panel on use here is super bright. It's a 5.5 inch full high definition panel with excellent outdoor visibility, great color reproduction and as told to us by Lenovo, it covers 100% of the NTSC color gamut which is very rare to find on phone display panels these days. Although it's not a 2K display, but still it's not a deal breaker because the color quality, contrast ratio and the display quality here is top notch. Reason number three is the fingerprint scanner. I totally love the accuracy and speed of this fingerprint scanner. Let me give you a quick live demo here. The display is locked and the phone is locked. I'll just put my index finger and here it is unlocked and open the display is turned on. It takes no time and it's among the fastest that we have seen so far. It's comparable to the speeds of the iPhone 6s when it comes to fingerprint accuracy as well as speed. It's absolutely stunning how well this fingerprint scanner works. Reason number four is the audio quality. It uses very high quality amplifiers on the chip level and there are dual front firing speakers specially designed by Lenovo which comply with the Dolby Atmos surround software. The audio quality is very good. It's rich, deep and loud audio on the front speakers and it supports Dolby Atmos not only on the earphone jack but also on the speaker phone. The audio quality is phenomenal and here is a quick audio sample for you. Reason number five is the three mic noise cancellation system. It uses three different microphones to pick up noise from your surrounding and cancel it out. The clarity of audio on both sides when you are in a call is very high because of the microphone system. Reason number six is the set of cameras that it gets. It gets a 21 megapixel rear shooter which comes with face detection autofocus, dual tone, dual LED flash, the best part about this camera is the excellent pictures that it produces at f-stop 2.0. It produces excellent bokeh effects. Here are some samples on your screen when it comes to stills capability of this phone camera in outdoors. On the indoors though, when the light is a little less, we observed some noise at some parts of the picture, but it's not a deal breaker. Using the flashlight that is provided, you can take pictures. And here is a sample of picture taken with flash and without flash using the same framing. And you can see the difference which this flash produces. Talking of front facing camera, it also produces good quality images both against the light as well as in front of the light. It does produce good quality selfies with the front facing 8 megapixel cameras as well. Talking of video recording capabilities of this camera, there is a 4K video recording capability for the rear facing camera and the front facing camera also produces good quality 
video samples. Here are some samples playing right now on your screen. The only downside that we noticed was that there is some shake of videos in this uh, handheld video recording. This could have been fixed with the use of optical image stabilization which seems to be missing here. Summing up my camera experiences, I'm really stunned with the quality of images that it produced and any day I'll recommend this camera for still photography. It's an excellent camera with great audio pickup as well when you are shooting videos. Reason number 7 is the performance and gaming experience. We have done a separate video on gaming review of this phone and the links are provided here on your screen as well as in the description section. So do check out the other video as well. Giving you a brief, the gaming experience is super smooth and fluid with the heaviest of titles. The Snapdragon 808 chipset which is a hexa-core chip with 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal memory gives you a very good optimal performance in day-to-day -day tasks as well as heaviest of the games. It played games like the Modern Combat 5, Frontline Commando 2, Asphalt 8 without any sort of stutters or lags. Reason number 8 is a very useful feature that you will find on many phones these days which is the USB OTG support. It does support USB OTG pen drive so you need not transfer your data to internal memory like videos or movies and you can directly watch them from an external pen drive. Reason number 9 is expandable memory. It comes with ability to expand the memory and you can do so by adding a micro SD card of up to 128 gigs in the hybrid SIM card slot that it provides as second SIM option. Reason number 10 is a software feature which we totally love about this phone is Secure Zone. We have seen this on other phones by Lenovo with Vibe UI. Secure Zone creates a different partition and a different user in which the files are not accessible from other users. So if you are someone who uses phones for enterprise usage, it's recommended that you use Secure Zone and keep your work and personal profiles separate. Reason number 11 is a set of software features that you find extra on this phone which make the user experience even better. Some of the prominent features that it offers you include quick snap in which you can double click on any of the volume keys when the phone is logged and it will quickly take a picture. It comes in very handy when you have to take a picture. There is also double tap to wake up which is another cool functionality. You can flip the phone to lock the phone. There is theme support, single handed user support and many such useful software features which have been bundled on this phone. Reason number 12 is the native virtual reality or VR support. With the virtual reality mode that debuted on Lenovo K4 Note, you can use it with split screen virtual reality and you can use headsets like Ant VR headset which sell for around 1300 rupees and use this phone in a virtual reality large screen. It gives you 100 degrees of field of view and the gaming experience as well as video viewing experience on virtual reality is just superb. It gives you an experience like you are sitting inside a theater. Needless to say, it also works with most virtual reality apps, 360 degree videos and other VR stuff available through third party apps as well. Reason number 13 is the infrared blaster that it gets. With infrared blaster and peel remote applications with come preloaded onto this phone, you can use this as remote control for your televisions, home theater systems, set-top boxes and other devices which run using an infrared blaster. Reason number 14 is large battery capacity of 3500 milliamp, which comes with quick charge 2.0 support. With Snapdragon 808 chip inside, you can plug in a fast charger to this and charge it very quickly from 0 to 60% in approximately 30 minutes. Reason number 15 is that it comes with a very well optimized user interface. The Vibe UI that is on use on this phone is very snappy, it's very fast and gives you a feel like you are using stock Android. The performance here is not compromised for providing extra features, although it gives you some extra functionality but it does not slow down on Android experience. And last but not the least, reason number 16 is the price of this phone. At under 25,000 rupees price bracket, it's an excellent phone to go for, gives you flagship feature specifications, build quality, design, camera experience and audio at the same time. It's a complete package with overall very good rounded specifications and performance on all day-to-day -day tasks that you would require from a phone coupled with a large battery and fingerprint scanner. It's a big thumbs up from us. 
and if you want to pick up one for yourself i'm leaving best buy links in the description section below we have done a separate video on five reasons to not buy this phone in which we have talked about cons of this phone so do check out the other video as well the links are provided in the description section as well as here on your screen this is all we have on this one if you enjoyed watching it give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below and for more such videos please stay subscribed by pressing the red subscribe button i hope to see you on my next video this is your host rohit khurana signing off thanks for watching